PKA641 with our guest, Ed Bullion from VinWiki. I went into that Longhorns wasted. <laughs> <laughs> Yet still short of patience for that poor waitress. Fuck her. Fuck her. I hope she, <laughs> I, I hope she lost a, a foot to fucking diabetes. It, she's, she it fucking... does seem possible. You had God, a bad Longhorns experience we on a survival a... trip? We were real hungry. Um, you know, we'd done the survival trip. We've been in the, week for a, in the woods for a week. And it was over, and it's like now it's time to break. We didn't our bring fast, food. Kinda. Yeah, it was, so so it's time to break our fast essentially after a week. And and we go to my house, we shower up, and uh, we go into this Longhorns, and we're getting very poor service. And it was like, come on, it was just real slow service. Like she wasn't waiting on us, and I was getting super impatient. And I was talking about making a scene. <laughs> I was we, gonna make a scene. We it spent like a week in the beyond. woods. And instead of bringing food, we bought fishing rods and rifles, dramatically overestimating our ability to hunt and gather. <laughs> and yeah. it basically starved. Yeah. Wow. Was, uh, How much food did you hunt or gather? No, I caught two crawfish. I was the only one that ate them. And they were like insects, basically. And uh, the gathering most successful part, I think Kyle met a person in the wood giving away cookies. <laughs> That's not gathering. <laughs> that it counts. is. This isn't he gathering. Was the That's charity. The area. <laughs> it's important that I tell this story because what happened was I was out hunting. I was literally trying to kill us a squirrel with a fucking, <laughs> <laughs> as George Costanza calls him, with, my, with, a, with, a, with a 22. And because uh, I'd, I'd scouted this location for weeks prior that we were going to be camping in. And there were so many squirrels. I was thinking like, ho oh, ho, y'all are in trouble in a couple of weeks. I've never mm -hmm. eaten squirrel, but I've been watching YouTube videos on how to prepare them and skin them and stuff. And they just all disappeared as soon as we moved into the neighborhood. There were no squirrels. And, uh, and so what I would do is I'd walk out of our place, I'd get in my truck, and I'd drive down the road thinking maybe our like activity is running the squirrels off. I'd park, I'd get out, and I'd sit in the woods with my rifle for a couple hours every morning and see nothing. And one morning I run into another truck and I'm like, hey, because there's nobody out here. We're in Mount Curahy, where they did like the five miles up, five miles down, and Band of Brothers. Yeah, we're and, lost. Uh, yep. And 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 this guy's like, hey, I'm. We're, he said he owned the store and that they took the stale cookies and muffins and gave them to campers, and asked if I wanted any, and sort of like holds up multiple boxes of M and M cookies and like mini muffins, I think. And I was like, yes. Yes, I would love that. <laughs> and I, I, sh I don't think I ate any. I think I showed up back with them and I was like, what should we do with this? I technically I gathered it. It's just shocking. <laughs> this is up there with flat earth as far as believability for oh, me. Like I that hear there you. was a muffin man. Dude, none of us believed truck. him, but there's more. I, I, Kyle's like, yeah, you know, there was just a guy in the woods giving away boxes of cookies. Oh, funny thing, huh? And we're all like, no way. You're like destroying the integrity of this thing. <laughs> and the cameraman guy goes, I saw him too. I met him. I turned down the cookies. It's like, of course you did, you fucking dick. You're the one who has food. The cameraman was the only one not participating in the real survival aspect of it. Yeah. He was producing the thing. You go from he... ruining the spirit of it to being like, what? You bitch! You had the <laughs> opportunity to have bran muffins and you didn't take I was it! So <laughs> I was so thankful that he had he too had seen the muffin man. Because the, muffin the muffin man, man was <laughs> the muffin man. <laughs> it was such a a make believe thing to tell people, and like like, I think that's how people feel. Yeah. Like, I don't believe in aliens, but and UFO spottings. I think they're generally seeing like yeah. weather phenomenon. I don't and, believe and in like, muffin men. What what I'm saying is like, if you saw a craft with your own, well, not you because you're fucking blind. If Woody saw an aircraft, <laughs> let's say he's up there, he's flying, and he's he's like, fuck. There's no way that was anything but extraterrestrials. That's it. That there's nothing. I, I was 80 feet from it. He's gonna have a hard time coming back down and explaining to that that to us in a way where we're not like, come on, what's the punchline though? What's what's the bit? Like, mm -hmm. are you selling? Like, what 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 is this? Yeah. <laughs> like, why I've are you had lying that to happen us? Happened to me twice. Twice I'm up there and I see like a blinking light zip by. I'm like, the fuck? Like what? I know I just saw something and now I can't locate it again. And then it happens again. Zoom, right? Comes by. And I'm like, what is that? Now, meanwhile, I'm flying, right? I'm flying this lawn chair. So I'm a little task saturated at like already. Mm -hmm. And I can't just like not pay attention to what I'm doing entirely. Eventually I find it. It's a remote controlled airplane that somebody is just buzzing around me. Like 
enjoying, I guess, like they, I don't know, they probably fly all the time. And then it's a rare thing for me to come by on my lawn chair. So it's something to fly around. And sure enough, I follow the airplane back and I find like a group of overweight 46 year olds in lawn chairs, just like operating their thing with their first person goggles on as I buzz around <laughs> above them. And it was fun. The second time I caught on quicker. <laughs> I, the only thing close to that is uh, one night, this is many years ago, I heard this noise across the house and it sounded like blah, 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 blah. Like someone was kind of knocking, pounding on a door or like prying something open. I get the gun and I'm like, I get close to where the noise is and it's loud. And I'm like, somebody's in my house fucking like beating something apart. And I like announce myself. I'm like, I'm coming in there. Bub, 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 bub. <sighs> I got a gun and I'm going to kill you when I get in there. You better be ready. <laughs> bub, 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 bub. <laughs> And I open the door and there's nothing in the fucking bathroom. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And I'm like, trying. I'm, now I'm waiting for it to happen again because it must be through the floor or through the ceiling or through the walls. So it's got to be on the other side. Bub, 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 bub. And I look down. It's through the floor. So I go down to the basement and now I'm terrified. <laughs> now I'm sweeping. <laughs> the light is on. The, the light is on the AR. Officer I'm Michael fucking... over here. It was a machine gun, by the way. I'm ready to go. <laughs> You're ready to ruin the guy and your hot water heater. <laughs> Somebody's about to get shot like 30 fucking times. Yeah, and, it's, and it's, like, it's an HVAC system. Yeah. <laughs> and I get to like under the bathroom and I'm sweeping that room now while like check looking by. I don't, it's just me. I'm so scared. And I look up. Bub, 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 bub. It's the fucking toilet. The fucking toilet had been making noise. So I turned that valve on it off. So now. It, it's like barely getting water and the pipe is like doing the is doing this oh. do, 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 jiggly thing inside the fucking like like I don't know between the floors of the house. It was so goddamn upsetting. I was so convinced. Like I'm I'm talking to myself in my head. I'm like, oh, you shot it, it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> there's a point where I was like, all right, a hundred percent there's a bad man. Like, like, like I was a hundred percent sure at one point. Mm -hmm. Like, 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 because I'm I, you know, you're trying to like. How serious is this? <laughs> it went from like, let's see if anybody's here to, all right, let's do this. <laughs> I told but, uh, you that that thing I did a scary like toilet. two years ago where like I was going, like there was a, a bump in the night in my basement and I was requisitioned to go check it out. And I was like goofing around and I had a bat and I was walking to my basement and I was like, when I, cause I didn't really think there was. Sailor, you're there. a gun owner. And I was like, cause I, there wasn't someone there. And I was like, when I find you, I'm going to rape you. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I said that I was going down the stairs. And it made me laugh so much that I was no longer af afraid. of. <laughs> because now t the turntables, my friend, now he's afraid of me. He, now mm. he's imagine he's stuck into the house. Yeah. Imagine, he, imagine him hearing that. All right, he's a homeless man who's just trying to get out of the rain. And, and he <laughs> hears you say that, followed by a deep belly laugh. And he looks at the dark... <laughs> A dark figure coming down the stairs with a club. <laughs> I'm just chittering at him like an animal. <laughs> <laughs> the whole basement's filled with weightlifting equipment. You know what? You, who's coming down? He's looking around, yeah. like like doing adding adding it all up in his head. It's like, yeah. <laughs> oh no! This guy has 900 pounds of plates down here. Yeah, he's got a lot of weights down here, <laughs> officer. He fell into the bed. <laughs> <laughs> he put his head selfishly under the safety and then slammed the bar down on top of it over and over and over. Aside from like a gun vault, let's if you, you break into somebody's house and you what's the thing you see that scares you the most? Like like, like, like other than mm -hmm. evidence that this is a gun owner because we're in America, everybody has guns. Probably here. a syringe, like a like a like a heroin mm -hmm. syringe. I've got scary. syringes laying around everywhere. Here, I right? know those aren't heroin syringes. Those are getting jacked syringes. Yeah, I have to tell people when I have like repairmen in, I'm like, hey, that's uh, I'm I'm fucking juicing it, bro. It's not. It's not. Yeah. It's not I, I, it would be easy to tell those were not heroin ones. But so if you no, they look heroin. exactly like heroin syringes. What are the telltale, telltale signs that the homeowner is an absolute badass? Probably if I saw like a reef tank and a paramotor, maybe. Oh, yeah. There yeah. you go. Or a whole <laughs> shelf for board games and magic cards. 
That would tell me like, whoa, this guy, <laughs> this guy knows how to have fun. <laughs> we got some strategy to contend with. Yeah, this guy's if Taylor robs a house and he has magic, I think he has a new mission. Like, hey, bro, I'll be blue. <laughs> there, I'll be blue. Let's give it a go, bro. Let's well, play I, for your TV. I no <laughs> longer want your toaster. Yeah. <laughs> See, I always had pet than... reptiles, so no, no uh, tropical fish. But I have a nine foot long boa constrictor, oh and God. so What's I, his name? Uh, Sunny the Lamboa. And um. so she, uh, <laughs> she's about 11 year old albino snake, but they, I've, you know, you run into different people, especially, um, uh, like pest control people an exterminator comes mm -hmm. in. And so I, uh, my first business was actually breeding albino iguanas in my parents' basement in middle school. And so Damn. this guy came to my parents' house and, uh, I think I was the only one home when he was coming to uh, spray, whatever <laughs> I said, don't go in the basement. Uh, he's like, why not? I said, I don't worry about it. Just, we don't need anything. Don't worry there. about it. And apparently he was also the owner of exotic pets and he had like an 18 foot reticulated python when he lived in some like you know condo in florida and he did the same thing he had a sign on the door in the room where the snake stayed to somebody who was coming to fix an hvac thing or something like that and he said don't go in here of course the first thing the guy does it was like a left the door unlocked situation he checks that room guy is deathly afraid of snakes and immediately like you know catatonic convulsing on the floor so oh, no. scared of this thing because it's not the in a snake cage. in a cage or an aquarium no. or something an 18 foot snake is going to be it's, it's going to require a, a room to, that's you know that's sunny's room that's right yeah don't go in sunny's room but the snake knew that if the door was open and left open the snake was supposed to crawl out towards the front door because they would feed it outside Mm. And so this this guy is deathly afraid of snakes, and the giant snake crawls over him, not to eat him, but just on the way to the door. And I guess eventually he gets the courage to scream loud enough for the neighbors to come in. And uh, I, for some reason, they made him donate the snake to a zoo or something like oh, that. What a pussy. Oh, no. They yeah. took his snake away? They did. They did. That's should you shame. be able to have an 18-foot snake in your residential home? Yes. Yes, this you is should. America. You should be yes, able to have should. a tiger. No, I think you guys are wrong at, at the the perspective I was coming at it from. Oh, it, which one? Do you have it? There's not enough room in a basement room for an 18 foot snake to be happy. I don't. You don't have to care about snakes the same way because it's not like it's a whale. It's pretty retarded. They're like, not capable of happiness. Around. I don't think. But you should still be kind enough. To I bet if you tested to, the to brain chemistry, and, I bet if you tested the brain chemistry of like a python who was like beloved and treated like a baby and petted and the brain chemistry of one that was kept in a, a fucking cage but fed regularly about the same you They're are right like, in this because my needs are met my lord <laughs> reptiles don't even have a forebrain or a midbrain so they only have impulses like hungry cold hot uncomfortable yeah. like pressure it's sensations like, it's like creed said uh in in the office animals don't feel pain Fish don't. <laughs> they say that. They say How that. How convenient that is that fishermen decided fish they, don't they feel apparently pain. don't have the mechanism for it in the way we do. So they can feel like I am being violated, but like they don't. They don't That's feel what pain. pain is. You yeah. tell me their pain what is I'm telling you, Woody, is it's a backwards rationalization to make us feel better. <laughs> yeah. hey, what I'm telling hey, you is there's no evidence for this either way. They I ain't gonna mace you. I ain't gonna tase you. I'm gonna give you these hands, son.